In this video, we're going to look at editing drums or multi-source audio in Mixbus 32C. So what you see here is a group of drum tracks. They were all recorded at the same time with multiple microphones. And it's best practice to treat these as one instrument and not just kicks and snares and toms and cymbals and whatever else. And by doing that, we keep the phase coherency intact. So that way we don't start moving one track separately from the other track and getting things all out of whack. So you can see I've already grouped these together. And let me let's do this again. I'm just going to remove the group. So I'm going to drag from the top track down to the bottom track. And hopefully you've already grouped your tracks together as far as like drums, bass, guitars, piano, vocals, background vocals, whatever. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in and name this drums and we wanna keep this the blue kind of color that we have it. Let's make it a little bit lighter like so. And you can see that they share a common gain, which is relative gain and muting, soloing, record enable, selection, which is what we're gonna be utilizing today active state, color, monitoring, and mix bus assignments. So when I hit new, it's gonna group all these together. So let's say we need to go in and adjust some timing issues that the drummer may have had while playing to a click or just playing along the song in general. So what you would primarily need to concentrate on is the kicks and snares, which we have on these bottom four tracks right here. I don't have this session assigned to a certain tempo because this was just purely for mixing but I am using this song for demonstration purposes. So let's just say, for example, that we need these kicks to line up with the grid and they're all a little behind. So what we can do is simply use our range tool to make a selection. And let's just say we wanna edit the first few beats. So we're gonna go from one kick to the next and we're gonna go ahead and hit S, and that's gonna split the audio at the beginning and the end of that region. So now I can just go in, let's say I wanna hit Command and slide these back and forth, I can do that, or I can just move them however I need to. So I got these all lined up. Let's just say this kick needs to line up with this line right here. So we can do that. And then we're gonna go in, we're gonna make another selection hit S, and since this region was already split on the left side, it is now split on the right side, and we can process that separately. We can hit Command again and slide things within the actual region itself without moving the exterior. And this is just purely for example, but let's just say I'm gonna go through here and be like, uh, I want, I think all this sounds like it's a little behind. Or let's do like a four bar phrase. So we can select a region and then, you know, I can move it back and forth. I use my command to slide the waveform within the region itself and so on and so forth. So that's how you would do that for drums. Let's go up here and let's say that these three electric guitars are all played at the same time, which I'm pretty sure they were. And if I want to go in and edit, let's say they were a little off right here and go in and, and select it, I can slide these back and forth. And then, you know, let's say this timing was a little off right here. I can go in, select the region, hit S to split the waveforms. And then I can move these around, whatever I want to do. All right. So that is the advantage of using groups in Harrison Mixbus and using the range tool to make your selections. And you can make these as long or as short as you need to, but it's great because you know that you're keeping all the phase alignment in check and you're allowing the performance to stand as one cohesive unit and not separate things out. Okay. Now you can always go in and ungroup things and you can you can just move that one if you want to but since these were all played at the same time you would not want to do that in this situation all right now there's other times where you do have groups like for instance these background vocals 
let's say these were recorded at separate times, but you do want to go in and adjust things. So you can just ungroup I can go in and make a selection here on just that one track, hit S. Now I can move that back and forth separately from the, all the other tracks. And there you go. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.